Man, we've made it to episode 35. It just seems like it's like flying by right now. But we're starting this out. We went from level 70 to level 72 thieving. No one took us about an hour and a half. And yeah, I would highly recommend getting those already mediums before you start this. Because it just helps out so much. Like, I can't believe I waited so long to do them. But yeah, uh, let's get on with this episode. Man, that was a pretty nice Tears of Gothics run. We had uh, 126 tiers collected. So we just got... 7.5k runecrafting experience we are still 36k to the level that's crazy but uh yeah it's always nice to do those tiers of gothics man we're about to come in with a pretty sweet little level right here just got 76 fishing and this is awesome just because we can catch sharks like i'm never gonna go catch sharks but it's the fact that we can and i'm pretty sure that's like a, a step for elite clue scrolls too so definitely a nice level to get so, I just completed the Eagle's Peak quest, gave us two quest points, which put us up to 202, and this actually gives us the opportunity to get all the way up to Hard Western Province Diaries, so, actually about to go bust those out real quick. There's a couple things we gotta boost up for, but shouldn't be a problem at all. Yeah, so, I was actually looking through all these, and so far we've got about 50 kills, and for the Hard Diaries, we actually need 300 total. So, I'm actually gonna take a break from this. I think the mediums require 125. But we did complete all easy tasks, and I'm going to come back to this eventually because we do have all the requirements, just not really feeling it right now. Man, slacking as usual, but we just got 96 range. That's a pretty sweet, like, little level. We're a million experience to 97, though. Pretty sad, but we're getting close, man. Jeez, man, we just did, like, a seriously thick trip at Revnauts. Like, we didn't get, like, any legs or anything like that, though, so let's go ahead and price check this. Like, I don't know, like, it looks pretty nice. 1.6 mil in one inventory, man. <laughs> That's just crazy. You can't beat that place. Ended up doing like two or three trips to those Revnauts. Loot tab right now is up to 9.5 mil, so I'm actually about to take a break from this, do a little bit of Slayer, and hopefully snag like a Kraken task. That's what I'm feeling right now, man. We'll see. Man, I'm about to attempt my first task with Duradol, so I'm hoping for something nice. We'll see what we get, though. Neck rules, hell yeah. That's an awesome task. Dude, look at these fucking succulent trees right here. This is about to be 45k experience. Let's go ahead and get this real quick. 15. 15. Man, that is just too nice right there. And we just got 73 farming. Hell yeah, dude. I'm glad I've like, seen something about these. This right here should be like the last step. We had a couple clues in the bank, so... Yeah, there we go. We got an easy casket and a hard casket, so let's see what we got. Bronze T play body, okay. And then for the hard. Ah, uh, not too good, but whatever. So I've been working on that necro task probably about halfway through. I think I had about 65 left, so we got a hard casket. Let's see what we got. That's not a bad clue at all right there. 400k? Hell yeah. Dude, we just got 89 Slayer up in here, man. Like, it's getting so close to 90. Well... 500k to 90 that just seems a little ridiculous but we'll eventually get that and i just love the magic experience here man i think we're almost done with this task i'm gonna check 33 more okay just finished up that task so let's see what we got next trolls okay that's a decent experience dude actually i'm gonna try to skip this real quick i just don't feel like doing it. i want something like decent i want like cave cracking man Blue dragons, nope. I mean, we got so many points to burn anyways, why not? Dagnos. That's even better, almost 200 of them too. Dude, we're about 100 kills in. We just got our first ring. Archer's ring, that thing's like 4 mil too, so that's like the perfect drop. I definitely needed that, man. Holy shit, we just got our second archer's ring. That's 2 in 1 task, that's like 8.2 mil right there. We've killed about 100 so far, so... We picked up the best rings too. We're so lucky right now. Dude, we just finished up that task. We got about 150 kills in. We still got about 50 left. I think we're just gonna kill them with the regular ones. But we made 8.9 mil, almost 9 mil that task. That's just insane. This is a sweet little stream too. Dude, just finished up that Dagnos task. We ended up making 9 mil, which was just fucking insane. So let's see what we get next. Lizardman, dude. I'll do them because they're quick experience, but I would not feel like doing shamans. Seriously. Just finished up that task of Greater Demons, so let's see what we get next. 
Fossil Island Wyverns. We're about to get another one of those visages real quick. I'm pretty sure we finally got all 30, 300 kills, so let's go ahead and check real quick. Uh, Western, wait. Western Provinces. Yeah, 300 kills, dude. That was like the last requirement we needed for the hard diaries. So I'm actually about to go bust out the medium and the hard real quick. So I'll be right back with you all with those experience lamps. All right, so we actually completed easy, medium, and hard in the Western Provinces. So let's go ahead and get our rewards real quick. Man, if we actually uh, went for it, we could actually get Elite Void right now, too. I might actually go for that. What do y'all think? Should I go for it? Yeah, we just got three lamps, man. That's nice. Let's go ahead and put these in Runecrafting. Be a nice little 20k experience or so. Or wait. 25k experience, I think. Oh, yeah. We're only 9k to 66. Yeah, so I was thinking, and I'm pretty sure the Void Elite is a really good move for me, just because I could use it like a lot of endgame stuff. I mean, I could use it as Zoro, Raids, Raids 2. I don't know, there's just like so much I could use it for, so I'm going to go ahead and get some. I've collected enough for my first piece. We've got 282 points, so I'm going to go ahead and get the... Uh, let's get the bottoms. There we go, first piece done. Man, pest control is not near as bad as I remember. Like, seriously, it's going by, like, so quickly. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and grab the top real quick. Man, how do we get the Elite Void? Like, what do we have to do for that? Am I doing this all wrong? Oh, I'm going to go ahead and get the top right now. I'm actually about to take a break, go to a farm run, and do my Tears of Gothics real quick. We still got 127 points left, too. Man, we definitely didn't get as many Tears as usual. We only got 109, but still got 6.5k experience. We're only 2.7k to 66 runecrafting. It's getting up there, man. With uh, Tears of Guthix and Lamps, it's been nice. Dude, seriously, if y'all haven't started Mahogany Tree Seeds, y'all are making a mistake. It's like literally 47k experience every three days, and this is like super simple to get to. So, man, I would highly recommend doing these for all. Okay, so this is taking a lot longer than I thought, but we've got quite a few points. Let's go spend them real quick. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and upgrade this. Yeah. Yes, please. All right, we got the Void Elite top and bottom. We still have about 200 points left. Man, that stuff looks awesome. So let's go ahead and buy another piece real quick. Let's go ahead and get the gloves. We'll get the gloves. And that just leaves all three helms left. So we're about 550 points away from full Void Elite. And this is going to be tight, man. I'm excited. Dude, about to get a farming level right here. We just got 74 farming. I don't think it's anything very special, but yeah, 74 farming. Man, seriously, I need a little bit of a break from that pest control grind. It's just been like a little ridiculous. And uh, yeah, I'm going to come here and do a couple kills and collect some skulls and hopefully get a drop. Two kills in for that juicy crystal seed. Pretty disappointing, but whatever. <laughs> this is like the most disappointing trip I've ever had in my life. Check this out. First kill... Wasn't that bad. Second kill, we get the Crystal Seed. Third kill, we get Snakeskin and Calquats. Fourth kill, we get the Dean Med and Calquats. Like, I know that's got to be rare. And that's definitely rare, so... That's a shysty four kills. All right, we just finished up our last kill. <laughs> Did this... Oh, man. Last kill like that. Crystal Seed. Man, that sucks. Yeah, but we just did that without the helm, because we ran out of charges, like, right before I got here, so... Yeah, that's uh, pretty disappointing. We did about 20 kills. I think we got about 8k skulls in the bank. I think I had a couple k already, though, so... Jeez, I'm about to die up in here. Things popping 20s on me. But yeah, I think I'm gonna get back to pest control now. Dude, we're getting so close. Like, it's just, like, getting, like, ridiculous. I feel like I've been doing pest control for, like, a week straight. But right here, we're about to purchase the range home. Let's go ahead and get that. And... Let's go ahead and get the mage home, too. All we have left is the melee home, man, but check this out. We got it, dude. First of all, we got the range. Then we got the mage switch, man. It looks so good. I could actually use this like, for Zora and all kinds of stuff, too, so I'm kind of excited for it. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm actually going to end the episode right here. Um, Wait, first of all, I'm going to do like, a little bank value. I just want to show you like what's going on with the bank because I don't feel like I've actually like ran through it in a while. So someone gave me the idea, so I'll show you all real quick. Oh, an elite void, by the way. That just looks so good. <laughs> I love that mage hat. So, the current bank value is 322 mil. And, like, 
honestly, the bank like looks stank, so don't judge me for it. Uh, we got the runes right here. We got 30 mil cash. Not too bad. Uh, just a couple pieces of junk, basically. Here's like my armor and like Slayer tab, basically. Uh, we almost got full Zanite jewelry. We got all the boots. I mean, like, we're missing a couple key things. I want to get Armadil. We got to get that Bandos chest plate back. And also, want to get a Dragon Warhammer soon. So, that's what we're working on. Oh, and that Void looks good, man. We got a couple God Swords, SGS. Armor crossbow, uh, random shields, some Barrows gear. Nothing too special. We got 9k skills. Here's potions and food and whatnot. Not very stocked up right now. Uh, this is just like my loot tab. I think it's about 18 mil, 20 mil or so. Let's check. 19.6 mil, so not too bad. What we got next? Uh, this is just like skilling tab. We got a couple axes and whatnot. Farming tab. We got to buy some more saplings, man. We're learning low. Uh, herbs, nothing too special. All my insult heads I collected from Slayer and everything like that. It's just like clue scroll items, and this is just complete junk. So, yeah, that's like a little rundown of my bank. Just want to like show you all that real quick. But, yeah, uh, man, oh, one more thing. If you guys like appreciate the episode, please give it a like. I would like really love to see 100 likes this video, and like that would just be insane. And if you guys are new, give me a subscribe because we're getting like super close to like 2k subscribers, and like. I don't know, it's just crazy, like, this all happened, like, within a year, and, like, I don't know, I just, like, really thank y'all for it, and, uh, yeah, next episode, uh, gonna get that Void Helm, and I honestly have no idea what's coming, so, yeah, I hope to see y'all next week, and see y'all later.